right, well, then just simply do that. So I'm going to show you how to bathe at Yorkshire Terrier today. Um, we're, we're waiting on the water to get the right temperature. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want it to be too cold. It's lukewarm is fine, just like it would be for a, an infant child. And the supplies that we're going to use is an oatmeal shampoo. And you can pick up uh, any kind of dog shampoo at um, pretty much any pet store. But we've purchased ours at a holistic pet store because it's a very, very high quality product. And um, that another thing about grooming dogs is you don't want to use human products because they can dry out their skin. Human soaps have uh, alcohol in them because we have oily skin. Dogs don't have oily skin, so try to use products made for dogs. And you can bathe as often as you need to as long as you're using the proper products. Uh, we have a Furminator here, and I like to use that whenever I am uh, washing their face to get any of the crud that comes out of the eyes and dries up. And I'm sure if you all know all you've seen what I'm talking about, but that's really a, a handy tool to have whenever you're bathing. Okay, so we're going to get her wet all over, and then, um, now it doesn't hurt the dog to get water in its size. You just have to be careful not to get soap in its size. And if you do, it's all right. You just rinse, flush the eyes out quickly. Try not to get water up their nose, though, because, um, you know, that, that's just going to cause problems. You can get it in the lungs. It could cause them to have a cold. So once the dog is completely wet all over, then you're going to add shampoo and suds them up completely. Some dogs don't like that, and they will fight you. And this one here, she's so-so. Sometimes she doesn't mind it. Sometimes she's, uh, she wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> So we just set her up all over. Make sure you get in between the toes. Make sure that you um, get, get underneath the body area and the belly really, really well. And you don't want to just put the soap on, rub it around, and then rinse it off. You want to make sure you scrub all the way down to the skin. Okay, now we're going to wash her face. Notice how I'm uh, not getting, trying not to get soap in the eyes. Now, if you don't wash the face good, that can cause kind of a smell to get kind of strong on the area. I use the Permanator to get any poop that might be stuck in her hair there. Now that it's wet, it comes out really easy. And it also pulls out loose hair as well. Furminators are really great for shedding dogs, although she's not a shedding breed. Furminators are used for um, getting dead hair out of shedding dogs. Okay, and um, you want to try not to get water inside the ears as well, because that can get in there and uh, become moist and cause yeast or bacteria infections. I just usually try to pull water over the face with my hand. That way I don't get it up her nose. Because I'll tell you, dogs do not like water up their nose. Not one bit. And then once I'm done with the head, I'm going to show you. It's real important to keep their bottoms clean. You know, when dogs go to the bathroom, once in a while they'll get a little bit of a loose stool and it'll stick to their hair. So you definitely want to scrub their bottoms really, really well. Make sure there's nothing stuck to their bottoms and it's nice and clean and sanitary. Now we're just going to rinse her, and um, then we'll show you in another video how to blow dry properly. Make sure when you rinse the, the dogs to get all of the soap out, otherwise you will find that your dog has flaky stuff that looks like dandruff, and it's really just dried soap most of the time. Now if you have any problems with itchy skin, it could be dry skin for that reason. And also, after you uh, shampoo, if you think your dog's coat needs conditioner, we're not going to use conditioner on her today because her hair is, uh, she has a really nice coat that's easy to, easy to comb through most of the time. But um, on some dogs, you want to you get a conditioner to put on. There are leave-in conditioners that you can spray on, and um, those work really well as well. Okay, now what this is, is beauty water. We use um, a Kangen water system on our dogs, or Kangen water. 
and we, we do lots of things with it. But one of the things we can do is we can make beauty water. And we do our final rinse with this water because it leaves the dog's coats nice and soft and silky. And it helps keep it um, less tangled as well. So she's not liking it because it's not as warm as the water out of the sink. But we rinse them. If we don't, we'll use conditioner sometimes, but no matter what, after we've rinsed all the soap out, we will use this conga water to pour over them because it just really makes a nice, a nice coat and it's good for their skin as well. And if you want to know any more about our conga water, just uh, there is a link titled conga water on our website and it's very interesting. I, I urge you to go check it out. And then you just want to towel dry and your next step is going to be to blow dry. So thanks for watching. And um, check out our other videos, Simply Teacups, at www.simplyteacups.com. Go to our grooming section. <laughs>